I like to clearly differentiate cycle counting from a physical count. A cycle count is something you do more frequently, like weekly or monthly, in just a specific location at a time, right? A physical count is something you do less frequently, probably annually, and that's when you shut down your whole operation and count your entire warehouse. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, Fishbowl expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you the cycle count feature in Fishbowl Go. First of all, you'll see the logo right here, the cycle logo. We'll click on that and it brings us to this screen. Very simple. Before you start, if you are going to do a physical count, then I would say step one would be to cycle all of your inventory down to zero. I'll go over that in the next video. If you're just doing a cycle count instead of a physical count, then I say go ahead, pick your location or pick your class of parts you want to cycle and just start scanning, scanning, okay? So physical count, cycle everything to zero first. Cycle count, go ahead and get started. First of all, you'll need location barcodes. You'll see in my setup video, I talk about that. So you'll assign each person to cycle count a certain area. He'll go to that row and scan the barcode. Boop, there's the location. And then scan the part that you're counted, okay? Now this is the most important part right here. This is probably where you can make the biggest mistake is the unit of measure. Make sure the quantity that is counted is the same unit of measure right here. Now it's so easy to get complacent when you're cycle counting. So just make sure you remind yourself to count the unit of measure that's on this screen. Okay, put in the quantity, tap cycle, you get this little success symbol, off to the next part. It's that simple. And this just updated fishbowl, all right? To just drive that home, if we go to the fishbowl inventory screen, and we'll pick a part here, let's do ANSP. You'll see we've got all these different locations, all these different quantities for ANSP. And we've got 5J3B, I actually have that right here. It says there's a hundred of them in that location. So we'll pull this up, we'll scan that part number. <laughs> you gotta get in the right groove, don't scan the part number first. Yep, scan the location, 5J3B, 5J3B. There we go, scan the location, scan the part, Remember it says right here the quantity is 100. We'll count this and say, yeah, we actually found 105. Click cycle, and over here when we refresh this screen, whoop, we'll see it change to 105. So join me in the next video where we go over the best process for doing a physical count, where you start out changing everything to zero and then count your whole warehouse.